Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are at Chiang Mai Light Up, which just started tonight. It's around 7 p.m. and everything's just getting started because the sun went down and it is now dark. So I'll give you a little bit of a tour and show you what's happening here at the Top Hay Gate. And if Top Hay Gate is actually right over there, so I'm going to turn here to the left. Something's going on on the stage, but I don't speak fluent Thai yet, so I don't know what they're doing. There's a lot of people on stage. There's a lot of people turned out for this. I'm not sure how this is going to be or what all's involved. I do know that there are around set, six or seven temples that they are putting, a, putting lights on, and it's supposed to draw more tourism here in Chiang Mai. I guess they're assuming that uh, foreigners will come see the temples if they put a light on them. So tonight they're putting the light on six or seven, I believe it's seven of them. So this is the top pay gate right behind me, I mean in front of me, excuse me. And this is their little uh, setup here for your, to get your photos done. Now of course no get together in Thailand would be the same if it didn't have people selling stuff. So they got some vendors here right by the top pay gate selling things as well. And I gotta say, it's not the same old, same old. There are some different things here to sell. So Kindle actually found the billboard, the schedule of everything and all the temples that they're going to. It's all written in Thai, so if you could read Thai, you're doing good. If not, we're just gonna walk down the street and find all of them. Most of them are on the road, coming right out of the top hay gate, going straight down the road, so we will check them out. Here's the official banner of all the things that are going on here. It's being done by the Ministry of Energy. All right, so we are at the first temple. They do have it lit up, as you can see. And you'll hear some popping in the background. They got like a carnival thing where they're you can throw the dart, pop the balloon, you know the, you know the carnival thing I'm talking about. Anyway, so this is what they're banking on to bring more tourists to Chiang Mai. They're doing these uh, solar paneled LED lights and uh, pointing them at the temples. And like I said earlier, they're doing it for the next couple of days. And then they'll be doing it on holidays and uh, on Sundays, so if you do want to see it yourself, you're going to need to come out on a Sunday. All right, we're about to get to the second temple. <laughs> Temples aren't very far apart. This is the entrance to one. There's the other one that's right over there. So let's see what's going on here. Yep, all lit up. Now for a lot of you who have been to Chiang Mai and know it real well, these will all look very familiar to you. If you're not familiar with Chiang Mai, there is a lot of temples here. They're everywhere. And usually at this time of night, they're not this lit up. It's just dark. Now it just rained before we arrived here. So you can hear rain falling off the ceiling still. It was just a little rain shower. It went away perfect timing before it got dark. So nothing was canceled. On the other side, on the back side of this is another Buddha statue. And if you are new to Chiang Mai and Thailand in general, this is one of the Thai gongs. These are huge. I, I would say this is about six or seven feet tall. But this is the inside of the uh, temple. All lit up so you can see inside. Very ornate. All right, going to our next temple, which is just a, only a few... <laughs> 100 meters from the last one. All right, so they got uh, carnival games, of course. And here's the temple lit up on this side. This is about all there is to see is a couple of, uh, of the buildings lit up. Oh, 
Okay, you can get a small prize. Ah, a small prize? Okay, well we took the path to get to the uh, to the main temple and hey, this is where all the action's at. I thought there would be more to it than what we've seen so far. And sure enough, there is. I even hear music coming from somewhere. So let's go see what's going on in here. Another angle of where we just were, where all the music is being played. As a drummer, I gotta say, I was kind of impressed with that bass drum. It had some serious bass to it. Let's go to the back here and see what's going on. All right, so here is the back area, all lit up as well. See, so, yep, they really, really upping the action here at this temple. And there's where we just were. All right, so it looks like uh, once you get out of the temple, the entire street is like, kind of like your Sunday night market. All kinds of things to buy and see and eat, and it's usually very good. Ten baht for a uh, skewer of pork balls, not a bad deal whatsoever. And they got your pork dumplings, squid dumplings, shrimp dumplings, chicken dumplings, and mushroom dumplings. So this this is that candy floss. Uh, Kendall and I saw this back in 2016. Our cab driver actually bought it for us. And we do not know what it is even to this day, but it was good. It looks like, uh, kind of like uh, hair, but it's really good and it's sweet. And uh, the time we had it, they served it with what looked like a tortilla and the tortilla was green. All right, well, I didn't even know anything was happening at this particular uh, temple. I figured it would be, but it wasn't on the list of things they were lighting up. But it's lit up. This is the most action I've ever seen on the front of it, and we've been here for New Year's and uh, Lloyd Craton and everything else. This is, uh, looks like they're throwing water up on a statue of Buddha up there. Those of you who are more familiar with the Buddha religion will know what they're doing. I do not know. And just to show you around here, they're selling uh, flowers over here to my right. And then there's some guy on stage over here in front of a bunch of people. Looks like there's going to be some traditional Thai something or other because the girls are all dressed up. I am walking to the back 
because there's always something, if there's something going on in the front, there's got to be something going on in the back. So they're selling a lot of things here. This is all unusual. I've never seen them with markets and selling things here at this temple. And what is this? Well, some sort of dessert. Salted egg, fresh milk cream, blueberry, green tea, durian flavored chocolate salted egg, Thai tea, rainbow chocolate, fresh milk cream, purple sweet potato, Oreo cream. It's just all over the place. All right, a lot of you who are familiar with uh, Chiang Mai will know exactly where I'm standing right now. This is the uh, oldest part of the temple. So we're going to walk around and see what's going on here. This seems to be where all the action is. And this is where I initially thought it would be. Only when I searched on the internet, it didn't say anything about this location. So yeah, they've got uh, markets surrounding. I mean, it's all the way, all the way around. No sense in me even going all the way around. It's all the way around the temple. made it all the way back to where we started from and it's about nine o'clock now so there's some sort of something going on on the big stage looks like they had a band out there but they're done now well, I hope this gives you an idea of what the Chiang Mai light up is I don't know if they're gonna have this every year or this is a yearly event already but uh, if it is next year you might want to check it out that's all we have for right now. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing as if this is your first time on the channel. We have most everything about Chiang Mai and everything from cost of living to rental properties to things to see and do. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. And we'd like to end our videos by saying, Kap Kun Kap.